Hey guys, Caller here, bringing you another English commentary from the present day world of Pro League in Korea. And uh, I'm bringing you a match here between We Made Fonts and CJ Entis that was played on April 13th, about two weeks ago. And this was an absolutely epic lineup of players from both sides, all stars from present and past. I'm totally psyched about doing this. Um, I actually saw that uh, from the airport coming back from Miami today um, that this series wasn't done. And I just got off the plane like four hours ago, just got home from uh, a taxi, and I'm just like, wow, I gotta do this series, because uh, with the game one here, we have mine and GG play, both uh, winners of individual leagues in 2007 facing off. Game two, we've got Nada versus Zellos, two old school Terran players, that should be really fun. Game three, we've got Savior playing uh, for CJ, of course, in the 2v2, and game four, we have Iris, I don't know about game five, uh, it's the ace match, it could be anyone here, it could be Savior, uh, once again. And in any case, game one here, we have Mind playing for We Made Fox, uh, Mind is an excellent Terran player, sort of a very solid playing, um, I guess just a very serious, uh, perhaps a sort of conservative Terran player, but uh, a winner nonetheless. He won the MSL in November of 07. His weakest lineup is Terran versus Zerg, though, and his opponent for CJ is GG Play, a Zerg player who won the OSL in July of 2007. His strongest matchup is against Terran, so, uh, but the statistics are pretty close, so I don't see it that much of an advantage going to GG Play yet. And here we have GG Play spawning in yellow, the Zerg player at uh, 5 o'clock, and we have Mind in teal at the 10 o'clock. And, by the way, this map is Othello, one of the new maps for Pro League this season. It's a fairly, uh, sort of, it kind of reminds me of Python a little bit. A lot of open area in the middle. Four-player map, uh, spawns at the corners. And, um, we, you have a very large open area in the middle with only a couple of, sort of, uh, I guess, hills in the middle, uh, that are only accessible by, by dropship, by air. And, uh, so, really... Both players could be going for any kind of opening builds here, although Mind, I would not expect to do anything too cheesy, uh, because I just haven't seen that from from a lot of games I've watched. He's always been a sort of a solid player. Um, here we have a picture of Mind, I think, kissing his uh, MSL, uh, MSL trophy, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I had a good time uh, on my holiday just now, um, but I'm excited about doing a couple of StarCraft commentaries, and I uh, thank you guys for, for watching and commentating, um, sorry, commenting on my previous commentaries. Uh, I really appreciate the comments and uh, suggestions about how to make my, my videos better and what videos you like to see. Um, I should be doing some classic series in the near future, but uh, currently I'm scheduled to do a number of upcoming series, including uh, a series being played right now today between um, Air Force Ace and, uh, I'm not sure what the second player is, but has Air Force Ace in it, so uh, <laughs> it's got players like Boxer and Oversky, who I really like, obviously, and so I'm going to be commentating on that. Uh, we see a barracks going up for, for uh, Mind in his base, and it looks like we're going to see a 12 hatchery from GG Play, so Mind not going for a, uh, a 12 command, a a 14 command center or any kind of super fast expansion. I think it's fairly safe on this map. Your your natural expansion is not that easy to control. So uh, going for a barracks and then an expansion could be good. Or even going for two racks and then uh, perhaps getting some tech before and going for an expansion could be viable. And we see GG play going for a standard uh, spawning pool next instead of going for a three hatchery build. So sort of standard buildings from standard openings from both players, and looks like Mind is not going to scout GG Play just yet. GG Play getting his extractor, so actually that signals to me that he won't be going for a third hatchery early on. He will be going for some fast tech soon. Um, it will be interesting to see uh, whether he decides to go for Mulisk or go for Lurkers on this map. Um, although Lurkers could, be, Lurkers could be quite interesting on this map, actually, because it is so spread out, um, and you could really just set up traps for the Terran. Uh, but looks like looks like uh, Mind still has not been able to spout GG Play Space. Now he's finally scouting GG Play Space. Um, and I will be doing another series in the MSL, which should be starting soon, and that will be in a few weeks. So I those are those are series I'm scheduled for so far. Um, I might decide to throw in some random games, you know, uh, some classic games in the middle. So if you guys want to uh, want to see any specific games, please keep them coming. I've gotten a lot of suggestions so far um, from Pimbus Plays List, from you know all sorts of things, and I'm definitely uh, definitely keeping up on them. So. Looks like we have from Mind a second command center going up in his natural expansion, so he is deciding to get a uh, expansion after his first barracks is up, and looks like looks like GG Play so far won't be able to contest it, although he actually is getting eight Zerglings right now, so he could be going for uh, to, to contest this, and it looks like he's still at two hatcheries right now, so perhaps he wants to kill this SCV before morphing to Lair and signaling that uh, he is going for a fast tech here. 
SCV is finally dead, and we'll see if GG Play decides to pull up uh, his lair right now. I do think he should right now, because otherwise he is going to fall behind economically. And looks like GG Play is actually setting up for a second expansion here, and that is a good counter against the Terran's fast expansion. Looks like GG Play is going to set up his expansion at the 6 o'clock position, so we aren't seeing fast tech for him, but rather a third, a double expansion here. And it looks like he's not mining gas, so perhaps that was sort of a fake out uh, to. Uh, to mind to make mine think that he's going to be going for fast tech and in reality he's actually going for a double expansion to start off the game it looks like he's uh, scouting the northeast just to check for perhaps some hidden buildings or not and it looks like uh, mine being the solid uh, player that he is has scouted the six o'clock expansion so the element of surprise will be lost and i give mine a little bit of an advantage here because i believe his first medic marine force will be able to uh, attack that expansion quite successfully it is uh, out in the open right now and GG Play really will have to commit to uh, getting defenses there and at his natural expansion to be able to protect it. Now GG Play is getting his lair upgrade, but it is a bit slower than what he could have done off of two hatcheries, of course, uh, because he did save those minerals b to build third hatchery and didn't mine, dr uh, mine gas from the moment the extractor was built. Academy going up for mine right now, and uh, we'll see if mine decides to go for a standard uh, medic marine timing push in about a minute or so when he gets uh, his medics and his stim packs out. And looks like uh, just a couple of Zerglings out in the front here for GG Play. And it'll be interesting to see how GG Play adapts in uh, being able to deal with this early push, probably against a 6 o'clock position, or there could be just against his uh, natural expansion, because he will be forced to expand at both places. And looks like, uh, to defend at both places, it looks like he is going for Hydro Sten. And this is, uh, I think, a very good response to the fact that uh, he was scouted at the 6 o'clock position, because the Lurkers will be a much faster and secure defense against a Medic Marine push than Mulisks will be. And it looks like the push is just about to start right now. Uh, Mind is moving out with about a dozen Marines here and two Medics, and he needs to move out right now, actually, to be able to do some damage. And it looks like he's just chilling right now in front of his base. He's waiting for his Firebats, actually, which is another smart move here, getting a couple Firebats. And they're obviously useful against uh, Zerglings, and also a little bit better against Sunken Colonies. Uh, they do require three hits instead of two to kill. And now it looks like um, 